George Lehman was a renowned figure in the history of railways in York during the 19th century. Born on June 12, 1809 in York, England, Lehman was a politician, businessman and railway engineer who played a significant role in the expansion of the railway network in York and the surrounding areas. Apart from his professional achievements, Lehman had an intriguing private life with multiple marriages and many children. Lehman's first marriage was to Elizabeth Tyndall in 1831, with whom he had three children, George, Elizabeth and Mary. After Elizabeth's death in 1842, Lehman remarried to her sister, Anne Tyndall, in 1843. Lehman had six children with Anne, Charles, Frederick, Arthur, Caroline, Anne and Henry. Lehman's children from both marriages were a source of great pride and joy for him. In addition to his personal life, Lehman was a well-respected figure in the public eye. He was elected as a Member of Parliament for York from 1852 to 1868 and was known for his tireless efforts in advocating for the railway industry. Lehman's peers admired him for his business acumen and his dedication to improving the lives of the people in York. However, Lehman was not without his rivals. His most significant business rival was the famous railway engineer, George Hudson who was also known as the Railway King. Hudson was a formidable opponent, and he often clashed with Lehman over railway projects and political matters. Despite their rivalry, Lehman continued to work towards the betterment of the railway industry in York and beyond. One of Lehman's most notable business ventures was the York and North Midland Railway Company, which he co-founded in 1836. Lehman served as the company's chairman from 1845 until his death in 1882. Under his leadership, the company grew into a major player in the railway industry and contributed significantly to the economic growth of the region. The company was later absorbed into the North Eastern Railway in 1854, which became one of the largest railway companies in the UK. Apart from the railway industry, Lehman was also involved in other businesses. He was a director of the York Gas Company and a significant investor in the York Racecourse. Lehman's involvement in these ventures helped to strengthen his reputation as a successful businessman and a prominent member of the community. However, George Lehman was not only a successful businessman and railway engineer, he was also a philanthropic politician who championed for the welfare of the poor people of York. Throughout his life, he dedicated himself to various charitable causes and worked tirelessly to improve the lives of the less fortunate in his community. Lehman's passion for social justice was fueled by his personal experiences of poverty and hardship during his childhood in York. He grew up in a working class family and had to leave school at a young age to help support his family. Those experiences stayed with him throughout his life and motivated him to use his position of power and influence to help those who were struggling. Lehman's political career began in 1852 when he was elected as a Member of Parliament for York. He served in this role for 16 years, during which he became a prominent figure in the House of Commons and a passionate advocate for the rights of the poor. Lehman used his platform to champion for better working conditions, fair wages and improved access to education and health care for all. One of Lehman's most significant achievements in his political career was the passage of the Public Health Act in 1866. This act was designed to improve public health and sanitation in England, and Lehman was instrumental in getting it passed. He believed that good health and living conditions were essential for people to lead productive and fulfilling lives. Lehman's charity work was equally impressive. 
He was a generous donor to many charitable causes, including the York Dispensary and the York Orphanage. He was also a major supporter of the York Cottage Hospital, which was established to provide health care to the poor. Lehman's charitable efforts were not limited to financial contributions. He was actively involved in these organisations and often visited hospitals and orphanages to offer his support and encouragement to those in need. In addition to his political and charitable work, Lehman was also a vocal opponent of slavery and a strong advocate for the abolitionist movement. He believed that slavery was a violation of human rights and worked tirelessly to raise awareness about its atrocities and to push for its abolition. Lehman's legacy as a politician and advocate for the poor of York lives on to this day. His dedication to social justice and his tireless efforts to improve the lives of others remain an inspiration to many. He was a true champion for the cause of the less fortunate and a shining example of the power of compassion, generosity and determination. George Lehman was a significant figure in the history of the railways in York and the UK. His contributions to the railway industry and the community were substantial and his legacy continues to be felt in the city and beyond. Lehman's personal life was also fascinating, with multiple marriages and a large family. Despite his rivals, Lehman's business ventures, including the York and North Midland Railway Company, helped to establish him as one of the most successful and respected businessmen of his time and in York's history. To show how important he was in the history of York, a statue of George Lehman now stands on a crossroads where Lehman Road, named in his honour, enters the city walls right next to the train station. Next time you walk past, give old George a nod. He may be gone, but George Lehman's legacy lives on for all of us in York. <laughs>